things about working here that I miss, and I miss my coworkers, because it was kind of like this. I was one of the only black guys that worked here. And I loved hanging out with them because they would teach me a lot. And one of the biggest things they taught me is that you guys are afraid to come just as much as we are. And I didn't know that until I started hanging out with y'all, right? Because I'd be hanging out with them, I'd be like, hey man, I'm gonna ride with y'all, because if I ride with y'all, I'm gonna be safe. And I was wrong. <laughs> I'd be in the back seat of their car and we'd be riding down the road. And I'll ask you, sir, if you're riding down the road and there's a cop car behind you and he's not bothering you and you're not bothering him, you're just driving mind your own business, right? Not my coworkers. We'd be riding the cop cars behind us. Do you know the passenger look back? The driver look back? We're going 65 miles per hour down the highway and everybody looking back at me. <laughs> and I'm trying to explain to them, if they pull us over, they're going to take me first anyway. <laughs> So I tried to get my white friends to hang out with my black friends because we have tricks for that. If we ride down the road and we even think of cop cars behind us, you know what's the first trick we do? We start talking without moving our lips. Hey, dog, I think they're right behind us. No, don't look up. You're going to get us in trouble. I can't stand you always doing something stupid. No, don't look up. You got a warrant for your arrest. What did you do? What, you didn't pay your child support? Oh, I'm pulling this car over myself. I'm telling. Excuse me, Officer Antoine didn't pay his child support. But I tell you what, I don't care what race you are, I don't care what gender you are, we all have done this before. You ride down the highway, you think a cop car's behind you, there might even be one behind you. What's the first trick we all do, guys? Slow down. No, we tried to get that seat belt. We would slide up the side of our bodies, and we'll pull that seat belt down. And we'd be nervous too, don't we? We'd be clicking and clacking and clacking and clicking, to finally we'd just be like, forget it, I'm just gonna hold it. And as soon as you feel safe, what you do, you turn your radio up. They see me rolling, they hating, patrolling, they trying to catch me. Sir, your lips didn't even move on that song. You don't know that song, that's all right, you be listening to a different radio station. We're not gonna take it, no, no, we're not gonna take it, we're not gonna take it anymore. Sir, you didn't even... Somebody is that American Idol. <laughs> Did y'all hear anymore? Honey, 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 relax, relax. <laughs> Sorry, your lips didn't even move on that song. You don't know that either. I know. You be listening to something different and it's okay. <laughs> you got to know when to hold them. <laughs> know when to fold them. Know when to <laughs> No. <laughs> and you never. Welcome to Provo. <laughs> Give yourselves a round of applause. That was great. Thanks for watching. Download the Drybar app and use the promo code Quinn Patterson. Thank you.